that's what we do. We just cover the ground with compost and then we put the wood chips on top. We don't mix the layers. And I'm just gonna rake that out in my own time. For the moment, we're gonna concentrate on getting the compost layer down and leveled and then dumping the wood chips on top so that the tractor doesn't have to drive over the compost. We'll keep doing it one stage at a time. Now, I'll leave you out here for an hour and you finish it. You finish it? No. <laughs> All right. Remember not to mix the layers. We'll put down compost first before we put down the wood chips. Good man yourself. How are you doing? I'm Martin from Gardens for Life at Birdland Homestead. And in this video, I'm going to show you what we have done uh, so far, moving compost with the tractor. So um, this is the aftermath here now. And some of it, unfortunately, had some sod in it, as in grasses and things like that. So I have to take those out and before we can start using it. And we're going to spread the wood chips on top. So I actually flattened the compost first and then I put the wood chips on top. I'm going to flatten out the wood chips too in, in good time when we get the rest of it done. It's just the main thing is not to have to be able to drive, not to have to drive the tractor on top of the compost now anymore. And um, here you can see it was a lot of extra work now to remove all those weeds that were grown on the compost piles. So um, we'll get there now and we'll probably use a lot cleaner compost next time because we have a few piles there that are not covered with weeds because they only they were only delivered last December. But in fairness now this compost here is fairly old at this stage. This compost was a year and a half old now but I should have covered it last summer. Definitely a word of advice for you cover your compost in late summer because the the grass seeds are flying around and they're just going to cover your entire compost pile. But you can see also here some of the grasses weren't um, completely smothered and I think even driving on it a few times with the tractor will take care of it. So uh, so what do you think about the uh, compost? Think we have enough of it? I'm sure in the piles we have enough of it but here I don't know. Yeah I hope we have enough to cover this area anyway. We might get some more delivered. All right so we could do with some more wood chips after a while as well. We're going to run out of wood chips eventually now. These wood chips are here for a year now. They've kept up quite well. So this is all going to be a big lasagna garden right here. I'll show you over here. This is what it's going to look like, or so we hope. Need to cover all this grass here as well. Now, that's, that's what it's going to look like. It's all covered in wood chips and we're going to be able to plant plant it up. It's probably going to turn into another wood chip island basically. This entire garden here. Well, it's actually a very sunny garden. It's also right next to the greenhouse. So it's the water from the greenhouse is also soaking in here. So I'm going to probably plant some pumpkins along here because they're going to have loads and loads of water and fertility. All the fertility from the rain that would have um, washed uh, all of the all the fertility down this way through the runoff would have ended up here in the bottom of the greenhouse because it's been trenched very deep into the ground here maybe two feet down or two and a half feet and um, any plants that I plant along the side of the greenhouse here are going to really thrive and they're going to have plenty of water and uh, food and I think we might plant some pumpkins alongside of the greenhouse what do you think? <laughs> what are you eating? I see. Are you sure? Lemon balm, is it? No. Oh yeah, that is iced tea. Leave it. We don't have much of it here at the moment. I just planted that. This is another one of the compost piles. We're going to be able to use that. It's only six months old now. But nevertheless, I was hoping to use this stuff in this spot here to cover this, but it's not going to happen, I don't think, because we're going to have to use it way over there and we may have to wait for the other compost piles and, and throw some tarps on them just to get rid of all the grasses. But uh, all of this is going to be a garden eventually because I don't want to have to deal with all these grasses here on the path. 
So never mind mowing them, but even them invading our gardens all the time. I'm just going to get rid of them, cover them all with um, cardboard after the tractor is done here, and then compost. All right, I hope you enjoyed that little video, and we'll see you the next time. If you'd like to support us, you can go to our Patreon page or our members page as well, or just get something on our online shop, or just give us a thumbs up. We highly appreciate your support. Thanks a million. Bye bye. Come on, run down and say bye bye. Bye bye. Look at all these baby plants. How exciting is that? We got hardy kiwis, choose the artichokes. Some new varieties of uh, currants, American elder, a little bit of precious potato onion, and some new varieties of willow. I'm going to plant some of them in the ground and some into pots.